Here's how to remix a track inside of FL Studio. First, start by downloading the track that you wish to use. Here, I'm using Band for Band by Central C and Lil Baby, and I'll simply use a YouTube to MP3 tool to do this. Now let's drag this into FL Studio. We need to set the tempo of our project to match the tempo of the track. You can simply look this up online, and here we can see that the tempo of the track is 140 beats per minute. So let's drag up here and set this to 140. Now that we've matched the tempos, we need to extract the vocal from the original track. We can do this by clicking up here, going to extract stems from sample and selecting whatever stems we want to extract. Here I'm going to extract the vocals and also the melodic instruments. Here we have the vocals with the factory rounds. and also the instrument section from the intro, which I've decided to loop every four bars. Now that we have the vocal and instruments in separate files, we need to figure out the key of the original track. We can look this up online, or we can figure this out ourselves using our ear. I know that the key of this track is in B minor, so now it's time to create our melody. We can click up here, go to View, Scale Highlighting, and change this to B and Minor Mode, which will highlight all of the notes in the scale as a lighter grey tone, whereas the darker grey tone is the notes that we can't use. For this melody, I've decided to use a B minor chord, and also a G minor chord, where the G is simply inverted. I've then also switched the top line of G to A halfway through this chord. Here's how this melody sounds. Now we want to make this sound way more interesting. So let's add some effects to this. We can assign this to a mixer track, in this case number 10. Go into our mixer, where I've added this portal preset. I then exported this by right clicking on the pattern and selecting render as audio clip. Here's how this sounds. Now let's add a bass line. This is really simple as we've already got the melody down. So all we need to do is copy the root notes of the chord progression, which we can see here, and use a bass preset. I've taken this dark space plucks preset from Omnisphere. Here's how this sounds on its own. And here's how this sounds all together. Now we just need to add drums. This specific remix here is a UK garage style track. So here's how we'll program our drums. We'll take a kick, a clap, a hat, another hat, a crash, and a reverse open hat. For my drums, I love adding these automated delay effects which fade in towards the end of each section and this creates build up and anticipation. Now all that's left to do is structure the track and add a few breaks and effects to add variation. Here's how I've structured this. And here's how the track sounds all together. If you want to listen to the full track, I've attached a SoundCloud link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Band for band, fuck that, we can go M for M Put on no for the main back truck Double line with the factory rim I got the 90 the years, the verge, the bribes, I'm really a threat It's got to the point that I don't even care I got jewels in the safe that I don't even wear She made me